Calais Campbell uh, says he spends between two hundred and three hundred thousand on his body after studying Brady and LeBron. I know you played against Calais. Uh, big guy out of Denver, Colorado, wanted to be a yeah. tight end. Uh, yeah. I, I've talked to Calais and said, you know what, man, I want to be like you, but I kind of kind of grew out of the position and I right. couldn't catch the ball like you could. Uh, if you knew what you know now, uh, how how would it have changed your career? Or would you have done anything di- as far as training, as far as nutritional? What would you have done different knowing what you know now? Knowing what I know now, I wouldn't have done a thing different. I respect individuals like LeBron and Tom Brady and the way they've taken care of their bodies and, and having to do some of the things that come with it. Uh, Calais Campbell spending 200, 300,000. Obviously, he's he's a bigger individual than I am, and therefore the wear and tear on his body might be a little different than it was for me. Uh, if I had to do it again, my diet and nutrition wouldn't change. The same thing I ate when I was in high school and through college, I ate it while I was in the NFL. The way I train, you already know, still to this day, I'm a madman. I'm a madman. I got to be doing something. I got I got to be moving. I got to be doing something. And I played a very long time. Unk, I had no injuries. I had no injuries. So when when Marvin Lewis appointed a nutritionist to the to our team, I had no there was no reason for me to break what I was already doing because there was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing to fix. There was nothing to fix. And I think I was very fortunate. I might be one of the most fortunate NFL players to ever play, to play an entire career and having no injuries outside of a dislocated, dislocated pinky, you know, a little, a little nick here, a little nick there, but nothing major where it would cause me to miss any time. Therefore, when it comes to nutrition and to talk about taking care of your body, it's like to me, it just everybody's different. Everybody's body's different. So it's hard for me to compare. I can't say anything about LeBron. I can't say anything about Calais Campbell or any other players that take care of everybody and having to spend money on it. To me, I think it's a mind thing. It's a mind thing. I get up, I train hard. I get in the cold tub. I get in the hot tub. I never got massages. I don't want nobody touching me. No, I never got massages. And that's well, it. obviously and I, you believe, the, you believe the cold tub got had something to do with it or you wouldn't have got in it. Oh, no, nah, because I just I saw everybody else doing it. So I just wanted to follow what everybody else was doing at TJ. Nah, TJ nah, no, OK, nah, okay. I promise you, you did. You TJ, did that. OK, T, you did TJ, that once or twice. You TJ, did that throughout your career. Yeah, because TJ, TJ Hushmanzada and Carson Palmer told me you should get in the cold tub. You run okay. yourself ragged. You run. Dude, listen, let me tell you how I practice. This is I was I was a, a, I want to say that word. I want to say the R word. I was ridiculous. I did a scout team. I went out. I did kickoff. I used to I used to play the gunner. This is in practice just to get me in rhythm, getting preparing for a game. T.O. T.O.'s with us in 2010. T.O. pulled me to the side and said, man, what in the hell are you doing? What are you doing? I'm taking all the goddamn snap. I said, this is how I always get ready for Sundays. He said, man, you running yourself ragged, man. You're going to be tired when the games come. I say, T, this is the way I practice it, and I'm used to it. So that was one of the, that, that was one of the joys of having T there and having to – show me how to manage my body and minimize some of the work that I was putting in during the week. But it's that's all that I knew. And I think that's one of the reasons why I never got hurt. I put my body through the ringer constantly to where, you know what, when it was time to play and time to get hit and take those hits, I just get right up and keep on going. What, what if you get in the hyperbaric chamber? What if you was eating right instead of Hyper having 11,000 yards, you had 14,000. And it, instead it, it, of having ha- 60, 60 touchdowns, you had 90. How? How? I just told you I never got hurt. I didn't miss any time. So what the widow's numbers gonna come from? Madden? No, no. Maybe instead of and, and maybe instead of that, maybe you break a tackle. Instead of having a 15 yard game, you get a 30 yard game. I never got tackled by the first man. Man, stop it, Ocho. You saw you saw what I did to Ray. Don't don't play me like that. No, I saw you and, got hey, flat. Listen, nah, but listen, one one another another thing that I hate. People, oh, I'm eating healthy. I'm eating healthy because it's gonna make it's gonna help me perform better. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because how you perform is a skill set. It's a skill set based on how hard you train and what God has blessed you with. And you putting the two together, not the food. Saying, oh, if I eat salads and I eat healthy and I do all this nutrition stuff, all of a sudden I'm going to be Jerry Rice. No, you're not. No, you, no, no. Go, hey, listen, now, but, listen but, either, you, either, either you're good or you're not. Either no, you're not. I, that's, that's it. But I, I, I do. I do believe. I mean, to, I mean, but like you said, it's don't, a mindset. Do you don't, don't believe. Do See, hey, bingo. The, the fact that you don't believe it's going to help is not going to help. There's a reason why doctors tell you that, that there's a reason why doctors tell you when you have surgery to keep right. a positive mind. Right. Right. 
but it, because the mind, the uh, mind really controls the body. So you're uh, not going to get the benefits out of it because you're already going in with a negative mindset. Even if you're not going in with a negative mindset, I'm using common goddamn sense and logic. Telling me what I put in my body is going to help me perform better. So why, did, why didn't you believe so, so? It's a lie. But you, but I, I, I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Oh my God. Um, I disagree. Either you're good at your craft or you're not. If yes. you're telling me, if you telling me, oh, I'm eating salads, that means when I'm when somebody's in front of me playing man to man, oh, I'm gonna be able to get open and create separation because oh, okay. of what I put in my body. See, That's see not you have the way a, that you, works. You, no, you have a seat, but you have a single. But see, here's the thing: the, I believe the guy that trains hard has the better nutritional. I think that helps. I, I'm not it saying that you, somebody helps I, you. What in what area? Your because body. Because when you get on the field, it's based on your skill set. Your skill set, but nothing let me more. You, but let me ask you a question. So why don't they put regular, why they don't put regulated gas in high performance cars if it didn't make a difference? Come on with the car analogy. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> so what's your body? What's your body? Is your body not a machine? Yes, yes or no? It, it's my temple. Okay. So why, so why why would and who, you, why would so you, so, why, so why you would they, put the they got, they got, they got, they got you believing that 97 is the healthy shit. That's no. how they that's how they that's how they fool you into selling their product. Well, here's the thing though, Ocho. What I did is that I tried it for myself. Right. See, yes, I could have like, nah. I said, but let me see. And right. then I saw what it did. What did I it do? Saw, I saw that was mentally. That's what it I did. Saw, I saw the changes in my body. I saw the changes when I when I made when I made the switch in 93. I said, right. you know what? I'm going to bring my own food to work. I'm going to start eating like this. I'm going to start training like this. I saw the benefits. Now, obviously, all these hyperbaric chambers and all this other stuff that came around, these physio guys that had these guys, these uh, personal trainers, there's a reason why. There's a reason why, Ocho. Unk, all that's a money grab, man. Can I ask you a question? How many years yeah. you played? I played 14. You ever been hurt? Yes. You had any surgeries? Um. Uh, yeah. You know why I you had surgeries? I, I fractured, fractured my eye socket. Oh, you had eye, eye socket. My, okay. Yeah. Scope what my, else? Uh, what what broke, else? Broke my, collar, broke my collarbone. Broke your collarbone. Know. What else? Uh, had scope on my ankle a couple of times. Oh, yeah, scope oh, my oh, knees. Yeah, oh, your ankle. Oh, your knees too. Mm -hmm. I ain't had nothing wrong with me. Yeah, but see, I ain't but had see, nothing wrong with me. And but I, see, I, you I, out there with, I, you I, out I, with them pretty boys. See, I'm out there. I was in the I was in the trenches. No, you. I was in the trenches, and I played reckless. Nah. Check my resume and check the film. Mm -mm. You outside the numbers, bro. I saw you one time. I saw you bro. one time inside the hash, and everybody saw how it ended. Listen, what era of football did I play in? AFC North, 2000 Ravens, Steelers, Browns. Bro, they, they yes. had them. Bro, they don't had do, them relax. Do bro, they had them relax, relax. the rules, the in incidental bro. contact, bro. Stop relax that. the rules. Stop playing, man. Why are you playing with my top like that? McDonald's, my whole career, not no injuries. Nothing. Just think about what you could have been. I was that. I was him. What you could have been? I was. I was him. I, if no if you notice, all the top. If you take all the top end guys, you look yeah. at the guys that played Jerry. Look at uh, uh Walter Payton. Look uh -huh. at uh, uh 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 Tom Brady. Look right. at Jordan. Look at Kobe. Look yeah. at LeBron. Look at all the high end guys. What hey, did they do? Let me tell you something. Everybody trying to be like them, you ain't gonna be named one of them. No, but you what if you could be a, one of them? What if you could be a better version Jordan, of you? Jordan Jordan A. McDonald's. What yeah, I'm I, saying both A. McDonald's. Not 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 when, not when he was yeah, training he for the Olympics. Let, let, yeah, not when was, he was let, training for the I, Olympics. I call Michael, I call Michael right now. I call not Michael when he was training right for now. The let Olympics. me tell you. I call Mike. Look, hold on. You want me to call him? Don't don't do that. Michael Jordan ate ate McDonald's. Talk to me now. Oh chicken me nuggets. Oh the game. Ocho. You could eat anything in moderation. And, and listen, why, why, why do we continue to use the the highest of iconic athletes as examples? Is beyond me because nobody is going to be like them. Is that they what you striving for? Let me ask you a question: Do you take any? Do you take financial advice from anybody that ain't got money? Yes huh? or no? You listen to the Elon Musk. You listen I, to guys that built businesses. I don't take financial advice from nobody but myself. That's why I still got all my goddamn money. Period. Ocho. Now, listen to me. I did it. I did it with no injuries. So you're not going to tell me the way I did it don't work because it worked because you had 30. You had 37 surgeries and I ain't had none. Oh, Joe. Yes, sir. So what if the difference? 
Ocho, but think but, but about ain't it. No, ain't no different. Ain't no seventh, different. Ocho, but, think about it. How many yeah. seventh round picks in after the merger made it to the Hall of Fame? Whoa, whoa, How whoa, many whoa, seventh, whoa, Hold on. Whoa, what, whoa, give whoa, me a second. I'm going to give you the floor. How many seventh round picks yeah. become on to be, be an all pro okay, and go to on. eight Pro Bowls? How keep many? Like, can you finish? Can I finish? Can I go? Go ahead. Can I go? How many young kids out of Liberty City beat the odds and then end up dead or in jail from selling dope? Let me finish. You let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. How many from kids from Liberty City made it to the NFL and was a full-time All-Pro, six-time Pro Bowler, name cemented, legacy cemented, name in the stadium? How many? Oh. I ain't got no yellow jacket, but I made my own. And oh, that's Joe. sufficient enough for how me. Many, how, many people, how many people live in Liberty City? How many people, what you say the population of Liberty City is? Now or back then? I'm, back talking, then. About in the, I'm, I'm talking about in the 80s when it was a war zone. Yeah. In the yeah, early about, 90s yeah, when it was yeah. a war zone. I'm talking yeah. about during the, during the dope how, era. How many, how many people you think live in Liberty City? Liberty City. I'm not sure. 15,000, 20,000, 30,000? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't even sit here and throw a number out there because I don't know. I'm, I'm just being honest. I don't, I don't want to play that game. I, I don't know, honestly. Well, gl I and gl know. where I grew up at, it was 3,500 people. What's yeah. the likelihood of you getting two out of 3,500? What's the likelihood of me even surviving and getting the Ocho. opportunity to even play? Ocho, so let me ask you a question. Are there any other players that came out of Liberty City that played in the NFL? Yeah, it's a few. Okay. It's a few. It's a few right now. So did you did, did time to do you do you understand what Liberty City I came out of? Yes. No, you don't. Yes. Ocho. 80s, 90s, Liberty City. Ocho. It was ugly. Yes. It I was ugly. Ocho. My yes. chances of getting out we, was this. Yeah, Ocho. This. Ocho. I ain't talking the odds. Oh, yes, the odds were Bad. stacked against you. Way against. Yes. But you beat the odds. Now, yeah. just imagine. Mm -hmm. Look, like I said, in your mind, yes, you sir. don't believe no, that I don't. nutrition, proper, you know, massage, physio, all that. You don't believe it works. We've the done mind. a poll. We got over 2,000 votes. 83% believe that nutrition matters. Hey, what are 83% at? Who they play for? 2,000. Who they play for? See, hold on. You not now. You doing the argument now. You doing now. You no. trying to invalidate no. people because no. they didn't play no. for it. No, no, no. Because they they would if you didn't play the game, and you think nutrition matters. Yeah. What are you using the What are you using as the fact that oh, nutrition oh, works? What are they gonna say? Oh, twenty three hundred. LeBron did it. No, no. Y'all ain't you. You're never gonna be those individuals that you, they are once in a lifetime. Let me ask you a question: lifetime. Are there more? Are there more athletes like you that eat whatever they want that don't believe, or are there more athletes that I eat nutrition? I guarantee you, there are more athletes like me than it is that eat that eat that eat healthy. And I can guarantee you that, especially in today's game, I can guarantee you that. I disagree. Let's, let's bet. Let's bet. I disagree. Let's bet. Let's because bet. because you let's see, all, I, I disagree. I, and I I don't know how we qualify. You know what? Why do you, I think why do you think, take a poll. Can I ask you a question? Why do you think all the, why do you think the injuries are up higher? Why do you think the injuries are more significant now than as opposed to before? Because can I tell you I, why? I Let me finish. Let me tell you. Can I tell you why, please? Please? Yeah. Real quick. I love you to death. The injuries are up higher because they eating all this motherfucking healthy shit. You play a barbaric sport. You play a barbaric sport running 100 miles an hour running into each other but you eating like a goddamn rabbit and you expect to survive a 17 game season season but you eat like a goddamn rabbit it ain't gonna work something has to give you know what's giving your fucking body and its ligaments i believe i believe a me. reason why the I'm injuries i believe the guys are getting bigger stronger and faster but I also believe that the guys don't put their bodies through the rigors. They don't practice hitting during the course of the week like we once did. And so now you're asking a car that hasn't been driven at 100 miles an hour during the week that says, you know what, on Sunday, go 100 miles an hour without being warmed up. That is my belief. There is no way to definitively de determine it. But do you believe the guys are bigger, stronger, and faster? Yes or I no? Just, do you I believe the guys you. in the NFL are bigger, stronger, and faster than they were? In the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s. Do you believe guys are getting bigger, stronger, and faster? Yeah, they are. Okay, so that means the so that means the so hold on. The, let me ask you a question. 
So nope, that don't, means don't the say collisions because you can't even hit no goddamn body today. You can't you even hit nobody can, today. You, you, you can't even hit no goddamn body today. Don't do that. Look, then you just you just who just you can hit Kareem, him. You can, Kareem Jack Kareem Jackson just got suspended four games for playing football the way we did in the two thousand. Uh, but hold on, you can't even hit nobody no more. You can hit him. It's just a penalty now, and we understand that they're trying to make the game. We, and we understand with the lawsuits, with the CTEs, and things of that nature. They're we understand. Themselves. Yes. Yes. But all I know is that we got 2,900 votes and uh, 83% says yes, nutrition plays a role. They don't know what they talk about because ain't, ain't none of that 83% could cover me. Ain't none of that 83% cover me. And I'm I'm out there on two cheeseburgers and what you going to do with me? Nothing. Nothing. Nah. The, uh, we got 3,000 votes. Oh, Joe, they, they do it with your because they, they say look they, at this right They, they lying. They That's lying. what I was what able you, to do right wait, now. What you talk? Wait a minute. Let me come up. What you, what you talking about? Oh, Joe, you a stick figure. You stick, you straw man. What you talking about, man? I, I, I ain't the only one you, what you talking about, man. What you talking about, man? You ain't the only one. Yeah, look, yeah, look at that. You, you laughing. This ain't, it's 2 30. What you talking about, man? Look at that. 30. Solid, boy. Oh, Joe, you, you, you ain't, you a buck, you a buck 60. You might be a buck 60. Man, look at this, man. What you talk about, man? I just look like this, man. You made me come up out of my you shirt, do. man. <laughs> man, Ocho, you wild, bro.